night. I asked that poor man you denounced sincerely. It was Robespierre that made the decision to execute him. Could I do you think I would ever have given you information? Had I known you would kill the man? And there's blood on my hands as long as I live. It's unfortunate, yes. But how pleasant to see you no longer suffer, having transplanted like a rose in such a lush surroundings. Chauvelin, if you came here to apologize. I am not in the habit of sailing the channel to make apologies, Marie. No. I am here on state business. I did, however, also wish to speak with you. About the revolution. The revolution is out of control. I cut all ties with that murderous regime and with you, Chauvelin. Please go! Yet surely your heart is still loyal to the Republic. Come work with me again, Marguerite. You will do your country the greatest service to help discover the identity of this scarlet immigrant. What? That is why you come here? You're mad! Not at all. I now know you travel close to the Prince of Wales, as does the Pimpernel. It would be quite easy for me to watch the Marguerite. Shall we dispense with the indignation? You also are quite the clever spy, and I suggest you return to that occupation or there may be trouble. Perhaps in your marriage. Uh, blackmail? Again, Shona? Go ahead. Tell my husband about that liaison. Believe me, what he feels for me today will never change. No matter what you do. Marguerite! Where are you? There you are. It seems so. Mademoiselle Marie will be leaving us. Oh, but how lovely to see that others join us. Gosh, you remember Citizen Chauvin from Barbie? How do? Oh, indeed, the citizen. Oh, yes, but that name was Citizen Shush, Shosh, Shish. Oh, do forgive me, I just I have a bit of trouble with the French language, I do. Yes, spell the name for me, would you? C-H-A-U. C-H-U. Shoo. Ha, shoo. <laughs> no, 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 no. Shaw, Shaw, A-O. Ah, Shaw, Shaw. Like a little dog, man. Yes, but then. No, 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 one Shaw, just one Shaw, V-E-L. One Shaw, Shaw, yes, one Shaw. Then V-E-L. Ah. So shoot one, shush your bed. What? Chauvelin. C H A U E L I N. Ah, yes. Oh, Chauvelin. <laughs> oh, yes, that is a stunning name. <laughs> you must come in and have a sip of tea with us then, Monsieur Chauvelin. It's a bit sticky out here, isn't it? He was just sleeping. Oh, no, oh, no. No. I'm beginning to discuss a bit of Paris fashion. Is it true that you are no longer wearing lace on your shadow? We have little time or use for lace in Paris these days, Sir Percival. Well, sink me. <laughs> that just makes a fellow feel for the future, don't it? No lace at all for God, darling. How reassuring to see you've married a man of such discerning values, Margaret. <laughs> now I shall take my leave for which we'll be staying on in England. Oh, can I do so? hope it's a, a small holiday for you, is it? Monsieur Citizen Chauvin returns to France immediately. He has no reason to remain here. Actually, oh, oh God! <laughs> Please give a warning before you heave about like that. Don't <laughs> oh, me. All that black so close up. That's too much. <laughs> The Prince's Hall. Well, I'm simply thrilled. Yes. Well, we two should be there. Oh, yes, the wife and I. So you'll be there, and she'll be there, and I'll be, we'll all just be there. Oh, Lord, this is so simple. I must see to my attire then straight away. Jessa! Jessa! Would you summon my valet? I think I could. <laughs> you do creep up on a fellow, don't you, man? You have to tie a bell around your neck. <laughs> <laughs> I like you there! I keep my green-colored satin for the Prince's Ball. It won't work. Oh, God, it 
just to shiver, sir. You know? You know? Or is she beside me? 